Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be doing another hits and misses video. In this series, we take one brand and we look at the five best products from that brand, the holy grails, those products which you cannot live without them in your skincare routine. We also look at five total misses, the Wah, 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 products that you should save your money on and just walk past if you see it in the aisles of your favorite drugstore. Today we are talking about Neod. I love, love, love Neod as a skincare line. It's from the creators of The Ordinary, the same parent company, Desium, have created this line, but it takes it up a notch from The Ordinary. In fact, it takes it into the stratosphere because the formulations are so complex and yet so beautiful in this skincare line. I could honestly have most of my skincare just from Neod if money was no object. Now, still, it might be an amazing skincare line, but they still have their misses, which we will be coming on to later in the video. But I wanna highlight what I think are the five best products that this skincare line has to offer, share them with you on why I think they're justifiably holy grail products. And then, like I say, come on to some products which I just don't think were worth the money. And again, I'll be justifying them with my reasons later on in the video. Neod, right from the bat, is cruelty-free, which is fantastic. They also eliminate unnecessary fragrances and colorants, which I think is fantastic. It makes it much more of an accessible brand. The price point certainly isn't the ordinary. I mean, the ordinary, the average price is probably like six or seven pounds around the $10 price point. With Neod, you're looking at per product paying around 40 pounds on average. That's about a $45 price tag. That's up there, but I think the formulations justify the additionality of cost, and there's just some beautiful, beautiful products. Enough Waffle. I have a lot to say anyway, so let's get straight into this with what is my holy grail favorite item from this skincare line. If you've watched this channel before, you're probably screaming at your monitor, your tablet, your phone, whatever you're watching this, and screaming, Repigment. And you would be right. My number one pick from Neod is their Repigment Pigment Corrector. I love, love, love this product. Um, hyperpigmentation, which is where you get dark spots or clusters of pigment and uneven skin tone across the face. It's something that we can all have at some point in our lives. It can be caused by breakouts in our teens, which just don't heal properly and leave that dark mark behind. It can be hormonal as our hormone levels change over time. Or also it can just be accumulated sun damage, which obviously is greater as we age. It's one of the things which people most complain about when they talk about their own skin, because they do find that uneven skin tone to be quite aging. It can damage your self-confidence. And we've tried so many products that claim to be able to even out the skin tone, brighten in the complexion and none of them actually do a right lot well whole fire if that sounds like something if that sounds like you and what your experience is is this product is game changing. So I've tried all sorts of things over the time. I get hyperpigmentation on my cheeks. We're usually from acne blemishes and marks which just fail to disappear. They leave behind a little bit of an area of excess pigment, a dark spot. It takes ages and ages to correct them. I've tried just about everything from some of the creams and the drugstore basics right the way through to the different dark spot corrector which is hydroquinone based so it's a super strength product. All of them worked to some extent, but none of them really delivered what I wanted to deliver. I think the different dark spot corrector was the best and delivered the best results, but it came with quite a few side effects, dryness, irritation, and things that you can get with hydroquinone. Then I picked up the Neod Repigment, oh, and I fell in love. I used this product for three weeks and I saw a 60 to 70% reduction in the appearance of my dark spots and hyperpigmentation. That is like mind blown. I've been living with this for years. If you think of how long you've been trying to tackle your dark spots and hyperpigmentation with very little success or little results, and then this came along three weeks later, I kind of, I just wish I discovered this product 10 years ago. It's 40 pounds, but you know what? I don't care what the price of this product is because I would keep buying it time and time again because it actually delivers what it says it's going to. And my skin looks so much more even. It looks so much brighter. And my confidence has just grown immeasurably because I just feel better about myself and I feel like I'm having a good skin day every day and I credit it to this product. I recommended this on the channel before and you guys bought it and have said oh my god it genuinely works and it's really wonderful so I know it's not just my skin that benefits from this. I love it. 
The formulation is beautiful. It works on a number of levels. So not only does it suppress the production of that pigment, which means the body's eradicating it faster than it can produce it. So overall, it um, lightens the appearance of those dark spots, but it also helps to increase the eradication rate of that pigment, removing it from the upper levels of the skin. So it becomes less apparent a lot quicker than with some other traditional um, products, such as like Alpha Arbutin, which will work, but it'll take about eight months to see those results. I love this. I think the best ingredient in this that delivers the most bang for your buck would be the di diet glucosal gallic acid, which is clinically proven to be 60 times more effective at removing pigment than um, kojic acid, which before this was like one of my holy grail go-to, 60 times more effective than kojic acid, which I already thought was quite a good product. This is just amazing. It's also got some natural ingredients in here, such as the shiitake mushroom ferment, which again is clinically proven um, to help to brighten the skin and bring it back a little bit of a luminosity. Works on loads of levels. And honestly, if you have issues with hyperpigmentation, I would reach for this product because it's very rare that a product claims to be able to do something and just delivers it and exceeds your expectations. And this is one of those products. Now, moving on to another product, that's probably one of the more expensive products from Neod, but one of their more reasonably priced is this, which is the Sanskrit Sarpanins Cleanser. Cleansers I've really got into recently. I used to just see it as a functional experience. You slap the cleanser on, you rinsed it off, and then you went on with the exciting products after. But I think if you get your cleanse right, you can deliver much more hydrated skin. You can just, I think cleansers come so far that you actually can get ones that really just work to make sure that the rest of your products deliver even better than what they would without it. This is definitely one of those products. What I think makes this different is it's a cream based cleanser, so it's really nice as a second step if you're doing a double cleanse or just as a standalone cleanse. But it actually has natural sarpenins in, which are much more gentle than your traditional surfactants. So you get light foaming with it, but you don't get any of the drying that's associated. You get the great cleansing, but your skin still feels hydrated and just gorgeous. I have quite oily and acneic skin. I've used this on and off, like as my go to cleanser for the past sort of three or four months, and I've never never had any dryness come from this. I think if you had super dry skin, obviously it still will be slightly drying, but with the exception of that, I think this is suitable for everybody. I love the fact it's 20 pounds, so that's a reasonable price point, I think, for a really nicely formulated cleanser. It smells divine. It just smells like cocoa butter and loveliness. It's beautiful to use, and as a cruelty-free second step in your double cleanse, this is a really good option. Also, look at that. Look how gorgeous the packaging looks. You have that on your vanity and it just looks really, really nice. So yeah, huge fan, 20 pounds, $25, and I think it's worth every single penny. Now, for my third pick, I'm going for a product which you guys always ask me about and say, is it worth the money? And my answer is always, Yes, if money is no object, this is the product for you. And uh, this is the Copper Amino Isolate Serum. This is the second generation. They did a version of it previously, and this is like the new and improved. This is actually an unopened box. I've got one on the go because what you get is you get two little things. You get the activator and the actual product itself. You mix them together, and then it's good for quite a few months. I love this product. A, because you know it's fresh because you're mixing it yourself when you get the product. But this is like... Uh, a collagen boosting powerhouse serum. Um, anybody that's used the Buffet by The Ordinary, it works in a similar way, but just way better. So buff peptides are fantastic for boosting collagen. They hydrate the skin, they can help repair the skin barrier, but they also trigger the production of collagen and support with the transportation of some of the micronutrients and minerals needed to create that collagen. So peptides are everyone's friend. Copper peptides are specifically really good at triggering that production of collagen. So if you're worried about a loss of firmness and elasticity in your life and in your skin, that is probably the lack of collagen, which as we get older, our collagen and elastin levels decrease. You need a copper peptide in your life and this is the best on the market, bar none. This is one of the more expensive products from Neod, coming in at £46, around the $58 mark. So a lot of people say, is it worth going for this product over the ordinary buffet with copper peptides? Now, I always say the buffet with copper peptides is around the £20 mark. So you're paying double for this, and is it worth it? I genuinely believe the concentration that you're getting in here and the delivery mechanism, which means that those copper peptides go into the skin, they get to where they need to do those works quicker, and it just gives you a gorgeous level of hydration, 
firmness, elasticity. It will help over time to even out the uh, appearance of um, any fine lines and wrinkles and just give you that boost in the skin. However, if you can't push to Neo prices, I have always used and loved the Buffet with Copper Peptides by The Ordinary. It's very similar. I just think this takes it up to the next level. So if your primary skin complaint is a loss of firmness and elasticity, I would reach for this because it will improve the level of elasticity in the skin in about a month. That is a really quick turnaround for a topically applied product and I absolutely love it. I always say if you're ingesting collagen, you know people do those collagen shots, they might take the supplements, there is very little scientific evidence that ingesting, taking a collagen supplement orally leads to a meaningful increase in collagen in the skin. What you need to apply is a topical peptide ointment. So I would say if you're ingesting collagen or using that for the skin, Put that to one side and invest in this because the results you're craving you will get from this for a very similar price point. I love it. Now moving on to a holy grail anti-aging product and I think Neod really just stole the ant march on the anti-aging game and I've loved so many of their products but this one the survival is without doubt one of their holy grails. So survival is their antioxidant range now, antioxidants are not all created equal. There's loads out there from a really basic vitamin C or vitamin E through to some really high tech specific ones that target certain frequencies of wavelength. This has it all in there. It has over 15 different types of antioxidant in there. Some of them tackle specific wavelengths of light that can damage the skin. Some of them tackle free radicals and um, oxidative stresses which appear from pollutants, blue light. It is just fantastic. It it also contains algal extracts, which are fantastic and clinically proven to boost your skin's natural defenses against oxidative stresses, and I love it. You can get it with an SPF, with a mineral SPF, or without. I think you best just get in the Survival Zero, which is the plain antioxidant. And when I say plain, it means without the SPF. There is nothing plain about this. This, if you put this on your skin in the morning, you know that your skin will be protected against pollution, blue light, oxidative stress, and free radicals all day long. Those things over time accumulate and will damage the cells. It prevents our skin's barrier function from repairing properly and could just create aging and a lackluster dull complexion. I think if you're doing some great things in your skincare routine, maybe you've got a vitamin C going, you've got your exfoliation games on point and yet you're not using an antioxidant, it's kind of pointless because you need to deal with what you've already got but also prevent it from getting any worse and improve your texture over time. I love this product. This one it's a survival 20 actually which means it's got an spf of 20 in i would just go for the survival zero it's slightly cheaper and then you can put your favorite spf with it because it's compatible with all spf so just stick your favorite spf on top of it and your skin will be protected throughout the day finally for my pick of the holy grail my love 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 products from the odd is this this is the multi-molecular hyaluronic complex I've talked about hyaluronic acid recently on the channel where I said, actually, sometimes we're overusing it as an ingredient and having multi different types of um, molecular weight hyaluronic acids can be a trigger for sensitivity if you have sensitive skin. So I would caveat this as a product which really is best used by people who have super dry skin that want to supercharge their hydration and their moisture game. Everybody else can just get the levels of hyaluronic acid they need from products that they already have in their skincare routine because most serums have hyaluronic acid in anyway. You don't need a standalone serum. However, if you're struggling to retain moisture in the skin, this product is for you. It's gorgeous and it's got 15 different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid, different types, different weights, which means you're getting a multi-level hydration. The skin is gonna be hydrated from within, plump, glowing, and gorgeous. I love, love, love this product. I would caveat it to say if you have sensitive skin, it can be a little bit, hyaluronic acid in general can be a little bit problematic for people with sensitive skin, so be aware of that. But if you have just have dry skin and you feel like you just want a surge of moisture to the skin, hyaluronic acid is a gorgeous, gorgeous humectum and there are no better ones than this. The multi-molecular hyaluronic complex took boring hyaluronic acid and just threw it into the stratosphere and delivered a gorgeous, gorgeous product. I would definitely, definitely recommend this if, you, um, if you're um, if you looking for a way of improving the um, plumpness, the dewiness and the hydration levels in the skin, this is for you. It comes in at £28, so I don't think it's a break the bank price point ad. Actually, for what you get and the number of different hyaluronics in here is just fantastic. I absolutely love it. Now guys, there you have it. Those are the hit products, the standout amazing gold standard products from Neod. I have linked them all in the description below. So check that out if you want to purchase any of them or you want to you know, have a little bit more of a look around the ingredients or read some of the online reviews. They're all linked below. So dip into the um, description bar and check them out if you want to. 
Moving on to some of their misses. Now, in this series, I normally do the five hits and the five misses. I genuinely don't have five miss products from Neon. Their products are so, so beautiful and so well formulated. It's really difficult to find a miss. And so I've actually only got three, which is cheating. But you know what? This is my channel. I'll do it my way. I could only find three and I'd be lying if I included any of the other products from their line in here. Number one is the Survival 10. We spoke about the Survival, which I love. The Survival Zero, just the plain antioxidant, stunning. The Survival 30, fantastic, because you're getting the antioxidants and the SPF of a 30. The Survival 20, okay, if you've got darker skin and um, tones and you don't need that level of SPF, then the 20 is absolutely fine. Where I take issue with is the Survival 10. Who needs a sum factor protection of 10 in their life? What is the point? You're actually not getting the protection you think you need from that. And so really, it just I don't see who this would be applicable for. I think if you are very light and fair skin, go for the 30. If you have darker, richer, deeper skin tones that already have built in protection, the 20 is fine or just pair the zero with your favorite um, mineral or chemical SPF. The 10, I just don't think there's any point for it. It's not a total pass as a product and you could still use it. If it's the only one you can get your hands on, you can still use it and put another SPF on top of it. But I just think it's a bit pointless. Get the zero and put your favorite SPF on top of it. The zero is cheaper anyway and it's just I just don't see the point of it. I don't know why they formulated it. Second is the Low Viscosity Cleaning Ester. Now, I love this product. I included it in another video I did on Neod, which I will link up there. I really like this product. So the product itself, I don't have an issue with. It's the price that you're paying for the product. So this has multiple different esters in here, which are actually beautifully formulated to target different things that you're trying to remove from the skin. So there's one in here specifically targeted to remove UV filters for people that are wearing a heavy SPF. Um, there's one that's targeted pollution, so for particle matter that you're trying to remove from the skin. So it's really well formulated and you do get a really nice cleanse from it. However, you're paying in the region of 25 to 30 pounds for the product. And I'm just not sure you're getting the additional benefit that you would get from just using a micellar water. The Bioderma micellar water, which is like, I think like eight pounds, so a third of the cost, is just as effective at removing all those things. So it's not that the product doesn't work. And I liked it and I gave it a really good review. I just don't think it's actually good enough that I want to pay that money time and time again. I used it up, I tossed it out and then I didn't repurchase. So that's why it's on the list. It's certainly not going to be bad. And I like the fact they call it a cleaner, not a cleanser. Just that lack of deference, I just think it's really great. Um, I just think it's quite quirky, but I just didn't reach for it again, which is why it's on the pass list. Finally, the hydration vaccine. This is £35, so it's quite expensive and is designed to create moisture, well, provide moisture to the skin. It's a hydrator and it uses the natural moisturizing factors in the skin and just adds to them. So your amino acids that are already in the skin um, and providing hydration, it just adds to that to give you that powerhouse hydration. It definitely works. You get a really nice moisturization from using this product. Again, my issue comes from 35 pounds and I didn't notice the difference between this and the natural moisturizing factors with hyaluronic acid that the ordinary do, which is similar and costs four pounds. So you're paying seven times the amount for what is very similar to the natural moisturizing factors. Um, I think hydration is, uh, moisturizer is the end state. You just put it on to seal everything in and provide a surface hydration. That can be achieved through the natural moisturizing factors or any drugstore moisturizer. You don't need to pay 35 pounds. I don't think you're getting the additionality of benefit. And so if you were gonna choose something from Neod, this would be a pass. Go for one of the other amazing products. I just don't feel that this one did a lot for me. Guys, sound off in the comments below. Do you disagree with my fails? Do you actually think some of these products are game changing? Share your experiences. Let me know if you're going to be trying any of these products out. Has any of them piqued your interest? If I was to say choose one, if you could only run, if your budget only runs to one Neod product, get the repigment. Honestly, life changing. And I don't think there's another product out there on the market that delivers what that does. If you want to try something from the line, you're intrigued, but you don't want to spend too much money. The Sanskrit Sarpanins is a game changing cleanser that you love. It smells divine and honestly, it leaves your skin clean, hydrated and non-stripped. So definitely, definitely worth it. Leave your comments, guys. Let me know what you think. Obviously, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it because it does really help the channel. And wherever you are in the world, stay safe, stay well. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.